every girl, every boy Come and open up your eyes There's a world right here Full of wonder and surprise Let's go and find the thimbles! Thimbles, thimbles, thimbles We're the thimbles! Mm. For my shimmy shaker. Oh, hello, Rocket. Oh, hello, Thimbo. Oh, Rocket, have you seen my shimmy shaker anywhere? <laughs> have you lost it again, Thimbo? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> it's around this time of day, I like to sing and dance and play. When I shimmy, shake, shake, shake. When I shimmy, shake, shake, shake. The shimmy shakes the dance for me. It makes me smile. What's that? Ooh, is it a strange purple and orange flower? Where? Uh, can you see it? <laughs> it's my shimmy shaker! <laughs> uh... Oh! Oh! I'm getting the bimbling feeling! I'm going to find something! Hooray! <laughs> What have you found, Fimbo? I don't know. Um, it's uh, something for putting on your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Fimbo. Hello, Rocket. Now, what have you got there? Bessie, look what I found. Um, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what a very strange glove. Are you sure it's meant to go on your hand? <laughs> I know, it goes on your foot. <laughs> well, uh, no, Rocket, I don't think it's meant to go on your foot either. I think it's an envelope. An envelope? Yes, you can put all sorts of things into an envelope and send them to somebody else. Oh. Here's something you can put in an envelope. Oh, I say, it looks like an invitation. What's an invitation? Well, if you want to ask your friends to come to a party, you can send them invitations. You invite them to come. I think he might be having a birthday party. A birthday party? Hey, I love parties. So do I. Ooh, 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 ooh.
on the invitation you tell your friends when the party's going to be and where it's going to be. Look, it's a clown invitation. He's putting it in the envelope. And now they're ready to send to his friends. And he can look forward to the party. Ooh, 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 how exciting! Party time! <laughs> Tibbity tubbity party time! <laughs> Oh, that looks like fun. <sighs> I wish I could invite someone somewhere. Well, we can, Fimbo. We could invite everyone we know. You're right. Let's invite everyone to... um... to... <laughs> the Purple Meadow. Uh, Bessie, do you want to come? Oh, thank you, Fimbo. How kind. Uh, and Ribble, too? <laughs> I'm sure he'd love to. <laughs> Oh, I do like your pictures, Fimble. <laughs> Look, here's the invitation. Now, we just have to get it to everyone else. <laughs> I'd be good at that. <laughs> Yes! Rocket the Post Frog! Oh, a Rocket the Post Frog! Oh, a very special invitation to deliver! Oh, I shall deliver it straight away! I'm the Post Frog and my name's Rocket. Fast delivery, watch me hop it. Oh, time for a little rest. Oh, I must stop for long. I've got something very important to deliver. Woohoo! <laughs> I've dropped it. Oh, silly me. I'm the post frog. And my name's Rocket. A fast delivery. Watch me pop it. <laughs> Hello. Look what I'm making. It's a picture of a little one. Hey! Hello, Flurry. Oh, hello, hey. Rocket. Mm. Oh. oh, what's that, Rocket? It's an invitation, Flurry. It's for you. Oh, oh thank you, Rocket. Oh. Oh. Here's an invitation for Flurry, our friend. Put it in the envelope ready to send Look inside Flurry, just look and you'll see A special invitation delivered by me <laughs> Oh, an invitation for me? Oh, that's lovely, Rocket! Oh, thank you, thank you! Um... What's an invitation, Rocket? Oh, it means you're invited to the Purple Meadow by Fimbo and me. Do you want to come? Oh, yes, please, Rocket. Oh, can I bring Little One? Of course you can. Now, uh, Rocket the Post Frog will deliver the invitation to someone else. <laughs> uh, could I have it back, please, Flurry? Oh, of course you can, Rocket. Oh, and I shall deliver it straight away. <laughs> The post frog, and my name's Rocket. Fast delivery, watch me hop it. Oh, time for a little rest. Oh, I must stop for long. I've got something very important to deliver. Oh, I don't believe it. I've dropped it again. <laughs> well, now look at this. <laughs> Anyone missing an envelope? Oh, yes, Roly Mo. Me, me. <laughs> well, here it is. Oh, it's for you, Roly Mo. Special delivery by Rocket the Post Frog. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, thank you, Rocket. <laughs> Here's an invitation for Roly, our friend. We've put it in an envelope ready to 
his hand Look inside Rowley, just look and you'll see Your own invitation from Fimbo and me <laughs> Oh, thank you Rocket Where am I invited to? The Purple Meadow Oh, of course are you inviting everyone? Oh, uh, now, let me think. Have I invited everybody? Well, uh, Fimbo knows, and uh, Bessie knows, and uh, Ribble, and I invited Flurry, and you, Rowley. Uh, ooh, uh, is that everyone? Um, smelly Jelly! I know who I haven't invited yet. Pom! I haven't invited Pom. Uh, I'd better go and find her straight away. Uh, you do that then, Rocket. Uh, uh, but Rocket, uh, won't you be needing this? Oh, of course, Rowley. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'd better get a move on if I've been invited. <laughs> Perhaps I should tidy myself up a bit. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if I could find that old hat of mine. <laughs> Doobity Pom, uh, uh, why don't you put that one on there? Uh, no, 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 Rocket. That goes there. <laughs> right, Pom, I see. Oh, Pom, um, I've got something for you. Oh, something a Pom? That's right. Here it is. Ta-da! It's an invitation. Oh. Hello, invitation. It's an invitation for you to come to the Purple Meadow. Oh. Pom, come a purple meadow. That's right, Pom. Come to the purple meadow. Pom here. Eh? Oh, Pom here, a purple meadow. Um. No, that's right, Pom. You're already in the purple meadow too. <laughs> so that's everyone then. We've invited everyone. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, hello Flurry. <laughs> oh, how exciting. What's going to happen next? Oh, oh, oh. Hello, my ducky darlings. Oh, oh, oh. oh, what's all this then? I thought I heard voices. Oh, uh, hello, Bessie. Hello, uh, hello Rolly. Hello, Rolly. What a super hat you're wearing. Is it new? Oh, uh, well, thank you, Bessie. Uh, it's quite old, actually. Uh, I wear it on special occasions. Oh. Well, I see you've all turned up then. Oh, yes. We're just waiting for Fimbo now. Oh, has uh, anyone seen him? No, Rolly, we haven't. And uh, no Fimbo. Oh. Well, I wonder where he could be. Oh, hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello Fimbo. Fimbo. Oh, you're all here. Hooray! <laughs> um, well, what should we do now? Oh, Fimbo? Yes, Flory? Why did you invite us here? Oh, what do you mean, Flory? Oh, well, usually you invite someone somewhere for a special reason. Oh. Rocket, why did we invite everyone here? Oh, I don't know, Fimbo. Why did we invite everyone here? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have a reason. <laughs> oh, Fimbo! <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we have a story? I think I've got an extra special one here. That would be a good reason to be here, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah! Oh, yes! When you take a look inside the book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo, boo, wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. What you might see A story or rhyme Just take the time To read along with me Ah, here we are Dory, Dory Now, are you sitting comfortably? 
Oh, yes. yes. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called Loopy the Clown. Loopy was a little clown who lived in the circus. His mum was a clown and his dad was a clown. In fact, all his brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles and grandparents were clowns. But Loopy was different from the rest of his family. No matter how hard Loopy tried, he couldn't make people laugh. He fell over. He told silly jokes. He juggled balls. He even squirted water all over himself. But nobody in the crowd even smiled. I don't want to be a clown anymore, said Loopy. I want to be an acrobat instead. But Loopy had never tried being on a trapeze or the high wire. The ringmaster of the circus was not very keen on the idea. Please let me try, begged Loopy. Very well, said the ringmaster, but I'll put a big trampoline underneath you, just to be safe. That evening, Loopy climbed the ladder to the top of the circus tent. Loopy began to walk across the high wire. It was very difficult. He wibbled and he wobbled. He shook and he shuffled. Suddenly, Loopy slipped and... Oh, he fell off the high wire and bounced onto the big trampoline underneath. Before he knew it, Loopy was somersaulting in the air, his arms and legs flying everywhere. The crowd laughed until the tears ran down their faces. They clapped and cheered, and everyone said it was the funniest show they had ever seen. So now Loopy still wobbles along the high wire and even swings on the flying trapeze. But he always ends by falling off onto that big trampoline because he loves to hear the crowd roar with laughter. And the ringmaster says that Loopy is a funnier clown than all the rest of his family put together. That was a good story, Rolly. <laughs> Thank you. Well, maybe you'd like to come again. <laughs> Especially now you've all had... An invitation! <laughs> <laughs> The Fimbles had a busy day today. Who found the envelope first? That's right, it was Fimbo. Fimbo found the envelope. And what did he and Rocket do with it? Yes, sweetheart, they made it into an invitation. And they invited everyone to the Purple Meadow. And what happened when we all got An invitation for someone. Come and find us next time. Now we must fly. Goodbye. <laughs>